hello hello welcome back to daily daily budgets i'm sarah and thank you if you're a new subscriber and thank you if you're a returning subscriber it really means a great deal to me so in today's video i'm going to be checking in for week five of october and also as it's the last week of the month anything left in my purse i will be redistributing so spoiler alert it's been a tough week <laughs> spendy 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 so oh and Rosemary, you'll be pleased to know Orange Lego Man is back in the building. So this week has run from the 27th of October to today, which is the 2nd of November. So let's bring this up. So on the Friday, it was a no spend day and it was my partner's payday. On the Saturday, I withdrew £50 from Elton's. And I spent that at Dun Elm and the co-op. Um, had an unbudgeted spend of £20.18 at Tesco. This was on a pair of trousers because we went out and we had to um, we had a little change of clothes because we were going to um, to um, a family gathering um, at my uh, mother-in-law's house and I forgot my trousers. So yeah, so that was that. And then I spent £5.81 on Etsy. And that was because I could not resist Esther's new Colour the Spud challenge in the collaboration with Lucy Luxor. So that is ordered. I'm just waiting for it to turn up. On the Sunday, Michaela gave me £10. I believe that was for our Thunderball. And we spent £40.85 at Tesco's on groceries. Turn the page. 30th the Monday was a no spend as was the Tuesday now I thought this week was really really spendy but clearly it wasn't as spendy as I thought it was Wednesday I had £100 for my ex which I get every month and I spent another £2.47 on Etsy on this new shop that I can't remember what their name is but I'm waiting for it to turn up and then today I got um, £100 from John who's the family member who bless him gives us a little bit of extra money every month just to help us out wise I am off poorly so yeah so that was the end of the month and let's have a look at my goals so my goals were 12 no spend days and i did 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 spot on so we did do 12 and i was only allowed four unbudgeted spends well i think i blew this one completely out of the park and out the budget because i did 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so let's write october off and then we can roll into November, hope, hoping, hoping that I can do a bit better with unbudgeted spends. But these things happen at the end of the day, so let's not get too wet up. So let's see what is left in the purse that I can redistribute. So some change. There we go. And I've packed my cash tray, but I didn't, well, my toast rack, which I normally hold my cash, because um, obviously we're in the midst of moving. And, but I didn't, um, didn't pack my dip bowl, but never mind. Nothing left in spending this month. Groceries, nothing. Fuel does have a tenner. Miscellaneous has nothing. And that still needs to go back to bank. So let's play with this moolah. So we've got 10 pound note and we've got two, four, six, eight, ten whoopsie one two three four fifty sixty five so twenty four sixty five so let me just move my stickers out of the way and let's bring in my little savings challenge so obviously i want to put some into my penny challenge because i am so close so at the moment i don't know what i'm going to put in so challenge one this well at the moment is the wafty wafty from esther now do i want to do it so i do that why so then it is done i don't know let's look to challenge two which is the one to 50 or we've got the seasonal which two three four five six it only has four left right maybe i should start with the one to 50 challenge because i feel that i'm lacking on this one a little bit and let's put let's put let's do envelope 14 so let me bring in my box of envelopes there we go and let's find a black sharpie as well that would be helpful wouldn't it so dun, 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 dun. 
There we go. Number 14 is this nice purple one. So let's pop 14 pounds in there. And that is another one that I can mark off. There we go. So we've <laughs> remembered to mark it off this time because I always generally tend to forget. Give it a little wafty waft. There we go. So that is that one done. Now, did I want to put anything in the wafty wafty or do I just put this 10 into the penny challenge? Do you know what? Yes, I am going to put the £10 into the penny challenge so let's just find the colors that i need oh why have i got two oranges i don't need two oranges i want a purple there we go right so we got two four six eight ten pounds 65 so ten pounds 65 i am filming this i had my covid and flu jab done on tuesday and i'm feeling a bit pants my arms are really sore has anyone else had that from the jabs this year? Just out of curiosity, I feel a bit bleh as well. I spent all day in bed yesterday because I was feeling that rubbish. But right, minus 88p. And right, I'll speed you up um, doing this because um, you guys, it's a bit boring for you, isn't it? So right, minus 88 <laughs> There we go. So nearly another line completed on the old penny challenge, as we can see. So I went from 88p and I did all of this line. There was one, I think, or two that were already marked off and then I marked off the two. So the next highest number I now have is 74p. So yes, very, very close to finishing. This has been going for near enough a year now. So yes yeah, so right let's bring in the old money tracker just to sort out the money and as usual the two pounds and 50 p's don't get done well, that's a full bag of 50 p's so let's go to this this will get a condensed because my partner needed some change the other day so there we go we've got a 10p and we've got a 5p to mark off and there we go let's get that all in there and let's think let's think 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 let's think of a joke for you all so what smells like blue paint but is red what smells like blue paint but is red red paint <laughs> honestly honestly i think my jokes that just get worse and worse and worse but that does leave me to the end of this video um thank you very much to you all for subscribing um and reaching the end i really do appreciate it i'm sorry i'm not if i'm not as jolly as normal it's a bit stressful at the moment with moving and trying to work out finances etc and also not feeling too good um oh cry no can't cry because we dehydrate but hopefully the next video will be a count up of my binders just to see where I am at the end of October. And then it will be followed by another video, which will be my no November week one cash stuffing. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you all have a great week and I shall see you next time. Take care, guys. Goodbye.